He's waking up. Oh no. What do we do? Murphy, stay calm. He's in so much pain. The chip. Remove it. The evaluation chip? How do we do that? I think I can help. There's a button here that will shut him down. Why is this place so deserted? What's with all the noise? It's Murphy. OCP sabotaged him. That's why Wendell was able to get the upper hand. Why? Robocop's their program. They wanted Robocop's data to use in the Afterlife Project. And no wonder. Robocop is the only successful cyborg that OCP has managed to produce. After they got what they needed, they just wanted him out of the way. Without getting their hands dirty. Those scumbags! What now? We need to get that chip out. It should be under the helmet. I saw someone take it off once. I think I can do it. What about the chip? It's here, but I don't think I can. Let me. I'm not squeamish. <laughs> I've done far worse things for far less. There you go, you little bastard. Is this it? Should I turn him back on? Do it. So, Murphy, how you doing? I am doing well, officer. So many familiar faces. Are we celebrating? Wendell certainly is. He stole a shit ton of heavy-duty equipment from that military expo. What happens when he decides to use it? He already has. You've got some nerve coming in here. With no police on the streets, every gang in the city is on the rampage. Detroit's on fire! She's right! I've got a call that Windows goons hacked the election broadcast to send a message. Citizens of Detroit, I'm sorry to inform you that help is not coming. You've been abandoned by the police, by your politicians, and by OCP. They all promised you a better life and tried to give you hope. And where did that lead you? Into the cesspool. I feel your frustration. I empathize with it, but let's not stop there. Let us do the only thing we can. Let's burn this filthy city to the ground. And from the ashes, let's rebuild something new. Something better. This is bad. I mean, can we do anything about it? I mean, we've all been fired. Never stopped us before. But where do we start? The new mayor is stranded downtown. That's as good a place as any. All right, let's gear up. What do you say, Murphy? I thought you would never ask. Murphy, Lewis, Washington. Head downtown and help the mayor. I'll try to get as many officers to join you as I can. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else? There are phones that need answering and no staff to do it. Sure. Why not? Wait, does anyone even know who won the election? Actually, no. But whoever did, they'll have a hell of a time cleaning up this mess.
a job to do. My god, look at this place. Could things get any worse? I'd better be quiet. The stage is at the riverfront. We are almost there. This Wendell guy thinks he can toss us aside. We'll show him who runs this town. I don't know what you're talking about. I just came to see the inauguration. <laughs> you like to vote? Let's vote! All in favor of kicking this guy's ass! I, I. Nay? I thought you said all the cops were fired! They were! Free, scumbags! Come get some! That's that damn OCP, isn't it? They want to ruin the city because their guy lost the election. But I won't let them do that. People voted for me, I owe them that. So, officer, tell me what's the situation. Every gang in the city is out for payback. They're not happy that Wendell used them, and his TV appearance didn't help. What about those damn robots, though? Can we use them to protect the city? They're under Wendell's full control. Ah, murders and criminals! That's what OCP is! But there must be something we can do. We must uphold the law, and we must catch Wendell Antonowski. We need to find him first. Luckily, Wendell likes to see himself on the big screen. How does that help? The message you broadcast. I can track its signal, but I'll need a little time. We can buy you some time, rookie. I don't want to interrupt, but some damned robots want to join your party. We can't let them do that, partner. Can we? No. Advice on how to deal with them? Sure. I have considered. Murphy, I'll stay here with the mayor and watch out for the rookie while he tracks Wendell. You need to go out there and contain the situation. It's time to protect the innocent, Murphy. I was made to do that. Murphy, all hell broke loose. People are calling about crimes happening all over the city, but three stand out. Those should be your priority. Firstly, Torchhead set fire to one of the apartment buildings. There are people still stuck inside. You need to get them out. Secondly, street vultures are loading up a van full of explosives at their newly annexed chop shop. See?
think they want to make a statement. Stop them before they do. Thirdly, the mercenaries Window Hired got a hold of an ED-209 from that military expo. They let it loose, and it's wreaking havoc in front of the town hall. Hey, Tin Man. I've been picking up the dispatch phone ever since you left. People need help all over town. It's too many to handle, so I'll be directing all the incoming calls straight to you. Good luck, Tin Man. Save me. I can't thank you enough. I appreciate your attempt to keep the city clean. Thank you. And uh, don't worry about me. I, I live in the building. I locked myself upstairs.
grocery. Uh, they're trying to burn down my store. I need help. I can't get out. I wouldn't be so sure that the cops want to help you. Your donut price is a criminal. I tried to pull her out. I really tried, but smoke and... Is your mother inside? Yes, can you? There are police officers on the promenade. Go there. I will save your mother. Oh God, I can't open the door. Can someone help me? I can't open the damn door. Oh God, thank you. Watch out for smoke, citizen.
to the exit is safe. Keep your head down. I told you to go to the promenade. I have to protect my mom. I have to. I've, I've already failed her once. You are brave, Daniel, but courage is not pointlessly exposing yourself to danger. Now go to the promenade. The promenade, sir. Of course. Can, can you walk, Mom? Yes. Yes, I can. You're very strong, Daniel. Strong and brave, just like your father. Recommendation for the evening.
The intruders are neutralized. Lock the door and stay here. Someone should definitely make a movie about you. You are amazing. As for my store, I'll get compensation from the city, right? Did you learn anything about the Vulture's plans? They want to blow up the bridge. You need to stop them. Otherwise, where will I get my maple syrup? I am heading there now. What is your status? Don't worry about us. We're doing... just fine!
Just keep planting those bombs. Live explosives need deactivating. Do you need bomb squad assistance? What, me? No, I'm not doing that again. I will manage. I don't see any fireworks on the horizon. Have you managed? Yes.
showed up. They don't like the fact that I only work with the vultures. It's my creative choice who I work with. You saved me. <laughs> you saved my business. Just make sure there are no children here during school hours. Ah, loosen up. At least there are no drugs here. Someone call for backup. Good to see you all on watch again. OCP cannot relieve us of our duties. We are not corporate rats. Yeah, 
That's right. What's the status? I am going after Wendell. Then we'll get the situation here under control. Don't you worry about it. Everyone, get ready. We must defend our city. And you, Murphy, go get that scumbag. I am underground. Did you find something? The lab. It appears it was set up for the Afterlife Project. So this is where everything went down? Gives me the creeps. But what about Wendell? The place looks abandoned. Be careful. Could be a trap. Any news? Wendell is not here. I am looking for anything. I think I know where Wendell went. But there is a catch, am I right? To proceed, I must find the code to a locked door. That is police work at its most basic. Your favorite. The scientists did not like working with Wendell. What was Wendell's role in the project anyway? He was coordinator, he hired scumbags, and then overworked the team. In OCP, that position is called executive. I found the door code. I am continuing pursuit. We've escorted the mayor to safety, and now we're gonna join Reed and the rest. There won't be time for chit-chat after that. Robocop, I just connected you to the mercenaries' frequency. You'll be able to hear their messages from now on. That is, if you're close enough. So Murphy, this day ain't over yet.
Hey man, check it out. It's Delta City's first celebrity. Roll out the red carpet. Should I we lucky? This place has everything. Money, buzz, drugs, and... I'm telling you, I'm Wendell's right hand man. So if he's the king of Della City, then I am the prince. And you know what that makes you? An idiot if I keep listening to your nonsense. So I was thinking, what's Delta City? How many times do I have to say? So much to play for the fun, bro. But I'm more happy. Alex Murphy, you didn't even give me enough time to miss you. How'd you like my new empire? The most free society there is, where everyone is equal, as long as they have the money. A city full of thieves, drug dealers, and murderers? Is this what you hoped for? The old man's dead. There's no one stopping me from ending you. There is also no one left to finance you. Becker shut down Afterlife. Is that true? I think we can get back to that at a later time. Now, where's my lighter? Oh, there it is. After the incident at the mall, I had a duplicate made. That's neither here nor there. Goodbye, Robocop. Smoking kills. So, you finally took care of that, huh? We'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way. Gentlemen, I'll leave you to your work. Target acquired. Target acquired.
Robocop has entered the construction site. I repeat, Robocop has entered the site. That wasn't part of the plan. Minor drawback. Cobra assault cannon operatives are getting into position. There's no way past that force. Cobra cannon? Now we're talking. Yes, sir. The best money can buy.
Visuals on the tango.
Is that so? Everyone stand down. What are you doing? Why did you stop? That is not what I pay you for! Turns out you don't pay us at all. What? The money transfer didn't go through. We will settle this. Have your machines fight your battles for you. We don't work for free. No hard feelings, Robocop. Just business. I have bigger fish to fry. You ungrateful fucks! You closed the door on the most ambitious project in this goddamn city! Surrender, or there will be trouble. I still have an army that will fight no matter what. So, Robocop, prepare to meet your demise! <laughs> ah! Now there is trouble. This isn't over! Stay away! Stay the hell away! Dead or alive, you are coming with me. You can't win this. Not while OCP still stands. There is nowhere else to go, Wendell Antonowski. That's not even my real name. OCP gave me that identity. They knew evoking your past affects you. Well, they wanted you emotional to better manipulate you. You keep sacrificing yourself, and that's admirable. But at some point, you have to ask yourself, for what? For the city that wants to witness your downfall? Or for the company that keeps sabotaging you? Join me. Together we can hold OCP accountable. Another empty promise. You hunt criminals down. Oh, let's make a stand against the biggest criminal of them all. It's time for you to stop obeying OCP and start putting yourself first. Locking you up is putting myself first. Oh, that would be a mistake. I am only human. Then why don't you die like one? Is it done? Is Wendell Antonowski... Dead. What about the city? Everyone pulled through, and we've got it under control, I think. We just got here moments before you. People are exhausted and trying to catch a little sleep, but I'm sure they would prefer catching up with you. I will keep that in mind. And Murphy. Good job.
You caught me sleeping at the desk. It's like I'm trying to convince you that I'm not cut out to be an officer. We are all tired. I talked to Reed, and he said that someone from OCP already contacted him. Since the UEDs turned out to be a bust, they'll be reinstating everyone. Everyone that meets the criteria, of course. Since Becca no longer needs me, I think that's the end of my career. Will that stop you from sending in another application? What? No, never. You can count on my recommendation, officer. <laughs> you do that for me? <sighs> I don't know what to say. Thank you, Robocop. It's been an honor. So it's true. He's dead? I am sorry that it did not happen in front of cameras. You and me both. But tell me this. You killed the guy who started this all, exposed UEDs for what they are, and made sure they won't replace cops. You contained the riots and at least postponed the creation of Delta City. What is your question? After doing all that, why is no one celebrating? That is not why we do this. What a thankless job. Actually, maybe that's a story worth pursuing. Would Channel 9 be interested? They love a sappy story over there. Maybe I'll even get some award for it. Then at least I'll be celebrating. Anyway, goodbye, OCP man. So... Antonowski finally got what he deserved. Damn right! No escaping the grave. I'm so tired I can't move a muscle. Oh, that's a shame, because the guy from the Holy Cow joint came by earlier and left a tray of burgers in the staff room as a thank you for our work. Shut your mouth! It is safe out there again. Oh, thank you. But I felt pretty safe ever since you left me with your partner, Officer Lewis. Feisty little thing, isn't she? She makes me feel safe, too. Usually I'm a little anxious about leaving my patients. But these past couple of days, I've gotten to meet some of the people in your world. Despite your circumstances, you've made a good life for yourself, Alex Murphy. I'm confident in saying that I'm leaving you in good hands. Thank you, Doctor. You know, I've been selected to join the Committee on Integration of Cybernetic Organisms into Society. I think it's important for people to know what I've learned here with you. I'll pass my conclusions along, and I hope OCP will do right by you. At least this one time. Goodbye, Alex. You don't look so hot. Was your neighborhood affected by the riots? I don't know. Once they begin, I was too afraid to leave this place. I locked myself in a storage locker. I get it. I'd probably do the same. This precinct really makes you feel secure. Got Wendell. Over the course of our relationship, I've grown enough to admit that it was mostly you who took down Wendell. So, good job, Tin Man. That guy brought a lot of suffering to this city. The phone calls I got from people begging for help made my stomach turn. It was overwhelming. At first, I didn't know what to do. First time doing something selfless. And last. I'm exhausted. I don't know how you do it. I had to help myself to a little pick-me-up that I found in the property room. You guys confiscate a lot of good stuff. That is not something you should say to me. 
Then I shall not say anything anymore. My medicine is starting to kick in anyway. Later, Tin Man. Robo, Lewis was looking for you. She's in the locker room. That you, partner? You're back. So it's done. It is. Did Wendell do one of his kill him speeches after which he always leaves? He did. What a cheese ball. So, are you gonna stand around like that the whole day? Come on, sit down. A lot of things have changed since I wasn't around. For one, I've heard that there's another woman in your life. Another woman? Dr. Blanche, seems that you two spent a lot of time talking together. I'm glad that there was someone you could lean on while I was away. You've been under a lot of pressure lately. It felt like every night at the hospital I was seeing your face on the news. People trying to dissect your every word, question who you are, your past, your future. I wanted to say how proud I am that despite having all those people look at you under a microscope, you remain so composed. I know I wouldn't handle it that well. So, how did you do that? I had help. Oh, that little thing? It served as a reminder of who I am, who I have always been. A great police officer? Among other things. I just want you to know that if you ever need to talk... I know, Lewis. Thank you. So, what's next for us, partner? Our morning shift is about to start. I'll get my gear. You've got to see this! Moments ago, what was reported as an unidentified creature has entered the OCB headquarters and is creating havoc. Reports of numerous casualties are coming in. No one seems to know what caused the chaos. Most importantly, who is going to stop it? I guess the shift's starting early. Ready, partner? I was born ready. What the hell? It's like a hurricane came through. Stay alert. destroyed everything in its path. What did? A monster. Robo, I'm in the Channel 9 helicopter. I'm seeing a lot of movement on the executive floor. I know exactly where that is. We need to get up there. No, get the injured out of the building. I will handle what is up there. You sure? Positive. You heard him. Let's evacuate everyone. Hurry up! More and more wounded, and they're all giving me consistent descriptions. 
So unless everyone is getting it wrong, there's an old friend waiting for you upstairs. You can expect... Trouble? That's right. Make sure there is no one left in the building. Will do, partner. I see you. That thing just moved to the western corner of the executive floor. It... it something... I... Number one guy. There seems to be a misunderstanding. future. That leaves one question. <laughs> Scrapyard or prison creep. Murphy, what the hell was that? Just an old friend.
not win this.
there. It's about to collapse. The building's evacuated. There's no one else inside. You need to save yourself. Another week passed since the OCP's magnificent giant has fallen. OCP's new CEO assured us that the destruction of its headquarters will not stand in the way of finishing Delta City. Japanese corporation Kanemitsu has already shown interest in OCP's most prominent project. We at Media Break welcome them with open arms. Delta City, Yokoso! From the City of Wonders, we're back to Detroit. The city's debt has reached a new peak. Re-elected Mayor Kuzak, asked about his plans for reform, said he had other plans instead. OCP is the weakest it's ever been. We'll sue them even if we need a Japanese lawyer, he assures us. Now it's time to introduce a new segment, You the Detroiters, where we share feel-good stories from our local communities. An escaped python terrorizing the local neighborhood has been reunited with its owners. But that wasn't the only thing that was returned. X-ray of the reptile's insides has shown the stolen watches together with the remains of the thief himself. Pickles, a local addict, was so intoxicated with Nuke that the drug was absorbed by the python, which explains its bizarre behavior. Isn't that food for thought? Next up. Sunblock 5000 model nearly torn to pieces by an ED-209 after not adhering to the 209's instructions. The dispute over a parking space could have turned deadly if it wasn't for Dr. Olivia Blanche, a seasoned psychologist who managed to keep a cool head during the 209's intervention. Dr. Blanche's new book, Coping with Loss, is said to be of value to both people and machines alike. Soon on Channel 9, the Samantha Ortiz you didn't know. After recanting her unfounded accusations against OCP, our brave reporter ends her fieldwork and becomes Channel 9's newest morning show host. Her first guest, a woman with the world's biggest hands. Welcome back, Samantha. A new world record has been set in Detroit. A man called Funeral Bob attended his thousandth funeral this year. The record-breaking funeral belonged to Max Becker, a former OCP executive. As it turned out, Bob was its only attendee. The OCP delegation did not arrive due to a rescheduled business meeting. We hope the meeting went well. Moving on. The owner of a local restaurant, Onion Baji, in cahoots with a ring of zoo thieves. The restaurant was proved to source the ingredients through crime. The arrest was made by a rookie neighborhood cop, Ulysses Washington, and according to his statement, it wasn't the first animal he had saved. 
one question still remains unanswered. What happens to RoboCop's human status? Mayor Kuzak distances himself from RoboCop and leaves no doubt that he will not be advocating for granting him human rights. RoboCop's efforts have prompted a public conversation. I hope OCP doesn't take him off the street. Who will protect us then? Ah! It's RoboCop! Robo! I love you! Skeleton speaker, pure pens of money. To many more years on the force, Robocop. It's been a busy time for Detroit, but the cloud that lowers over the city is lifting as police end their strike. We're ready to serve, said Officer Ann Lewis who returned to duty despite her recent injury. What heroism. Detroit can sleep soundly tonight. The question is, for how long? That's all for today. This was Casey Wong. Until next time.